The local family is recovering thanks to a concerned co-worker who called police after a friend failed to show up to work. Turns out the family was being overtaken by carbon monoxide and help arrived just in time. Eyewitness News reporter Marilyn Scherer has more now on what she's learned. Carbon monoxide is an odorless, colorless gas, and it nearly killed an East Greenwich family, two of whom were discovered unconscious in bed. East Greenwich police confirmed three members of the Walsh family were rescued from their Watch Hill Drive home Friday morning after suffering from carbon monoxide poisoning that nearly killed them. After readings, they found that the levels of the carbon monoxide were seven times the normal level. Uh, evacuated the house. Lieutenant Paul Nargang says police received a call from an alert co-worker at 1052 Friday saying one of the residents hadn't shown up for work. A police officer went to the house and discovered all three members nearly unconscious and they had vomited and were showing signs of CO poisoning. She was semi-conscious, not able to talk. Um, signs of carbon monoxide poisoning. Richard and Darlene Walsh and their son were taken to Kent Hospital. Their family dog was also saved. Nardang says the high CO levels were in the basement near the boiler. He says all the residents were still in their pajamas. One young nearby neighbor says it's pretty frightening to know they all could have died. I know it's a pretty sneaky thing because it, it feels like you're just breathing air, but I, I guess that's, that's, um, quite surreal that, that that sort of thing can happen so close to me. Police say Mrs. Walsh was discovered on the landing of the second floor when an officer first arrived on the scene and looked through the front door, and that's when he called for backup. We're told all three are in stable condition. Now the fire marshal is investigating the cause. We don't know at this point if there were CO detectors in the home. Reporting with the West Bay Mobile Newsroom, Marilyn Shera, Eyewitness News.